from the last class heading as dna is a genetic material proved by hersey chase's bacteriophage experiment we have learned that dna contains phosphorus in its configuration which differs it from protein component today's key question is that dna is acid or base you may find it very easy to answer according to its full form that is deoxyribonucleic acid but the answer requires more information better to say concepts regarding this answer we need to know what is the molecular structure of dna that helps us answering the key question more accurately early in 1950 DNA was examined by X-ray diffraction analysis. This is a technique for determining the three-dimensional atomic structure of molecule. And this experiment was conducted by Rosalind Franklin and Morris Wilkins. The beam is diffracted by the atomic weight and the spatial arrangement of the molecules. the diffracted x rays recorded on a photographic plate results indicated that dna was composed of two strands of polymer rolled into a helix later james d watson and francis h secret used these data to help generating their model that is watson crick dna double helix model now we are going to learn molecular structure of dna as dna is polymer that means a large molecule which consists of many similar smaller molecules called as monomers in case of dna the monomer is nucleotide and nucleotide consists of three building blocks dna molecules consist of two long polynucleotide chain composed of four types of nucleotide subunits each of this chain is known as dna strands in case of dna the nucleotide composed of a pentose sugar that is deoxyribose a nitrogen is base that means nitrogen containing base and a phosphate group let's have a deeper insight of each component of nucleotide In case of DNA the sugar is deoxyribose as i mentioned in case of RNA the sugar is ribose and the sugars differ by the chemical group attached to the 2 prime carbon and a hydrogen atom in deoxyribose and a hydroxyl group in ribose the carbon atom in the pentose sugar are numbered 1 prime to 5 prime to distinguish them from the carbon and nitrogen atoms in the rings of the bases There are two classes of nitrogen in space. Pyrimidines, which are nine numbered double ring structure, and the pyrimidines, which are six numbered single ring structure. Two strands of DNA are held together by hydrogen bonds between the bases of different strand. All the bases are on inside the double helix and the sugar phosphate backbone is on the outside understanding this properties we need to draw the figures bases are covalently attached to the 1 prime carbon of the pentose sugar 
the purine bases are bound at the nine number nitrogen and the pyrimidine bond at the one number nitrogen. There are two main types of purine, adenine and guanine. Both of these occur in both DNA and RNA. There are three main types of pyrimidines. However, only one of them exists in both DNA and RNA, that is cytosine. The other two are uracil, which is RNA exclusive, and thymine, which is DNA exclusive. The number of rings this base has determines whether the base is purine, that is two rings as I mentioned, or a pyrimidine, that is one ring. The purines on one strand of DNA form hydrogen bonds with the corresponding pyrimidines on the opposite strand of DNA and vice versa to hold the two strands together. Within DNA molecules, this is their most important function and is known as base pairing because hydrogen bonds are not as strong as covalent bonds. Base pairing can easily be separated, allowing for replication and transcription. Pyrimidines always bind with pyrimidines, known as complementary pairing. The ratio of the two will always be constant within a DNA molecule. In other words, one strand of DNA will always be an exact complement of the other as far as pyrimidines and pyrimidines go. This phenomenon is known as Chargoff's rules, named after Arvin Chargoff, who first noticed it. Adenine pairs with thymine with two hydrogen bonds and guanine pairs with cytosine with three hydrogen bonds. So one way to remember which bases go together is to look at the shapes of the letters themselves. The letters made up of only straight lines A and T are paired with each other while the letters are made up of curves G and C also go together. Combination of sugar and base is called nucleoside. Addiction of phosphate group to a nucleoside yield a nucleoside phosphate, which is one kind of nucleotide. It is called as deoxyriboadenosine 5 prime monophosphate because there is only one phosphate. In between the structure, the base and sugar make together nucleoside and the entire structure including phosphate group it will be denoted as nucleotide. The phosphate group is attached to the 5' carbon of sugar of DNA. To form polynucleotide of DNA, nucleotides are linked together by a covalent bond between the phosphate group of one nucleotide and the 3' prime carbon of the sugar of another nucleotide. These 5' prime, 3' prime linkages are called phosphodiester bond. 
the phosphodiester bond are relatively strong, so the repeated sugar phosphate sugar backbone of DNA. Polynucleotide chains have polarity, meaning two ends are different. There is a 5 prime carbon with a phosphate group at one end and a 3 prime carbon with a hydroxyl group at the other end. This is all about the fundamental structural information of DNA. Now another question arises, purine pyrimidines are bases. So why DNA is called acid? If you compare the structure of phosphoric acid and a short strand of DNA, you will see that in the latter, two protons of phosphoric acid are replaced by carbon atoms either in or attached to the five-membered ring. In chemical terms, such a group is called a phosphate diester. The remaining proton is now quite acidic and is relatively easily lost, thereby giving DNA its acidic character. Indeed, under neutral conditions, DNA is deprotonated at this side and the oxygen atom bears a negative charge. Despite the fact that DNA does contain many basic groups, their basic properties are masked or hidden somewhat because of the fact that they hydrogen bond with each other to form base pair. Hence, it's acidic part of the molecule that dominates and that is why we know DNA as an acid. Thank you guys. This is it for today's class.